Okay, so we've got this uh, another nice little setup. It's uh, almost 8 30. Um, the light is a bit brighter than the night before, the 8th. It's May 9th today. And in this camera, I have H, uh, Ilford HP5. Um, it's black, so it's black and white film. So hopefully, we're going to get this nice shot. I've got this nice shot between these two houses. It's like an alleyway kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to frame, I've got ISO 400, so that gives me a bit more advantage to do with, I've got a bit, a bit darker, a bit darker than last night, a few more clouds, um, so I'm going to, um, that's going to help me out, seeing as it's a bit darker. Just telling me F28 at 125. Now when I was pointing it down, the shadow mid-tone, sort of where the, the, the pavement was, or is, uh, it was telling me sort of 60th, 30th of a second, but as this is an HB5 film, I want to get the exposure sort of as close to it as I can, just so I can get um, a nice exposure and a nice scan, um, because it, again, black and HB5 has very good dynamic range from right from dark shadows to highlights. So I, again, with that point, I don't have to worry about over or underexposing too much. So I'm going to try and get the exposure as bang on as possible. Okay, first shot done. So I'm in, uh, currently in Nottingham at the moment. It's a nice little picturesque kind of shot. It's going to be black and white, so I'm not taking advantage of the nice subtle colours here. But nonetheless, there's some nice tone, there's some soft highlights, deep shadows over there. I'm in the middle of this, in the middle of this, there's some sort of um, the core mid tones of the shot. So let's see what the light meter has to say. Now this is the risk I take coming out in the evening. You know, it's 10 to 9 at night, and um, it's telling me 30th of a second. I've got no secondary tripod. The main tripod's here for shooting this today, so I'm going to go with 60th. I know that this film is quite good with saving, I can save the shadows in post-production through the scan, so um, it's telling me F28, 6, it's telling me 30th of a second, but I'm going to slightly underexpose it 60th, just because I'm doing handheld, so hopefully this turns out alright. I've just realised I can put the camera on this uh, fence here, but I can do 30th. Sweet, okay. Dark slide. Next shot. There's this cool little scene here. There's a Desperados bottle and an um, Arboretum Street sign. So um, I've just done the light meter reading. It's telling me F28, as wide as I can go aperture wise, and 80th of a second. I only have an option for 30th, 60th, or 125. So I'm going to put it 60 handheld, keep it really still. Hopefully, it comes out. Quite nice. I'm going to get quite close to this because I want that sort of nice shallow depth of field. So, yeah. Cool. So that's shot number three done. On to number four. <laughs> that's pretty much as high as the ISO is going to go. I've got this cool sign. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to look pretty cool in black and white. Uh, I think the light meter reading is going to be terrible. Yeah, it's telling me f2.8 at 20th of a second. So we've got a Hasselblad on a tripod. I'm going to f2.8 at 15th of a second. Right, it's all focused up and ready to go. Hopefully that comes out all right. Okay, so we are at Nottingham Trent, not Nottingham Trent, we're at Nottingham uh, Railway Station. Muted light, quite bright out here. I've got ISO 400 on Ilford HP5. So I'm going down the F stops to maybe F8, F11. I'll do a light meter reading now. Okay, I'm gonna go F56. F8500 is telling me. 
So I want to get the I want to get the exposure sort of bang on. So FA uh, uh, five hundredth of a second. Can you come to the right? Maybe just there. We're all focused up. What was it? F8? F8 500. Two, one. Might do one more. That was cool. Okay, so what we're doing here, we're in Holly's dad's back garden. It's really cold. It's May 12th and it's, well, it is uh, quarter to eight at night, but the sunlight's really nice. I'm gonna try and get the sun before it goes down. Point the camera over here. We've got some really nice um, sheets, bed sheets, but you know, they're sort of old eight to 10 Joel Mayowitz sort of style. Um, but I've got it on medium format with the house of black again. It's just black and white, so I'm not going to pick up the nice soft colours here. But we've got. Um, I'm just going to appreciate the nice depth, the, the slim depth of field. Okay, so f 56 with it's telling me the shutter speed of sort of 640 to 800. And I don't mind overexposing HP5. Ilford HP5 film because you get a lot of uh, colour detail in both shadows and highlights through as opposed to C41 process um, but this is HP5 process so it'll be perfect cool okay so hopefully that comes out nice now on to the next shot so it's windy so I'm going to shout, um, really nice situation right now, do my light meter. I get that nice shallow depth of field. So F5.6 at uh, 500, I think. F4, F4, because I was pointing it at the highlights, the point of the mid-tones of the shadows, F4, 500. Because I'm doing it handheld on that fast shutter speed, although I have done it 60 of a second. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, I'll do one more. I'll do one close up. Keep coming. <laughs> those two pictures will come out uh, nicely so here we are 21 months later hang on hang on 21 months that's over a year and a half and I've not even put that video or this video anywhere I don't know I just didn't get around to doing it and finally you know got our Sunday afternoon doing nothing and these I really wish I'd shared these when I got the scans back but I just, get, I guess I just didn't get around to it and it was in the back of my mind. And at, the, at that moment in time, I had my old MacBook, so I wasn't really prepared to, you know, spend years waiting for, waiting for stuff to render. So I've got my new MacBook Pro now and I am happy to be able to share these photos with you. As I don't know, really know any other way to show you, except maybe, you know, put them on a website, which I've got linked somewhere link down down there in the, in the description so if you like this video give it a like if you liked it so much comment saying I love this video Hugh please do more and yeah I'll do some more but yeah I hope you enjoyed watching it I really enjoy shooting Hasselblad I had to give the camera back to my god I was at uni what nine years ago and a guy called Jed Hoyland a lecturer at Nottingham Trent University and he had a few Hassel, a few cameras, one of them, or two of them were Hasselblads. And my girlfriend Holly managed to get um, a Hasselblad 503 CW, which she just had as a spare. And 
But then lockdown happened, but we still had it in our possession, so we decided to take advantage of that, shoot off the rolls of film that we had, and make these little videos. So this is like, I think the first video I've shot on this, but if you like this video, please tell me, because I want to know if you do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.